Hi guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can use ternary statement with the if if condition. So let's get started. So first thing first, you will need to create a C sharp script. So I already created it, and let's call it ternary statement, and open it in Visual Studio. So script is open, and let's create a very easy uh, function. So let's create um, a bool, and let's call it classic if classic if and um, what I'm oops sorry what I'm gonna do here it's very easy uh, a very easy function so I just put if uh, input input dot uh, get key down uh, dot get key of uh, key code a we just want to return true return true and else we just want to return false so return false all right and we just want to debug this function so debug uh, so sorry so debug dot log classic if and let's head back to unity and let's see what's happened so don't forget to create so i will create create an object so reset it uh, and we drag and drop our our script so the ternary statement all right and let press play and let's see what's happening in the console so as you can see force is is showing and as soon as press a um, the function is going on the true so that's nice. That's a very, very easy, very easy function. But um, what if I want to 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 use the ternary function? So basically, the ternary function is allow you to to get code shorter. This is a very nice way and a clean and elegant way to to do some stuff. So let's call our first function. So let's call bool another function. So let bool and let's call it ternary if ternary if and instead of of using all this if statement i will transform this one in a ternary functions uh, in a ternary term so let's say return directly so return so i will need this input okay and i will put question mark true false and that's it, guys. So um, let's debug this in the uh, in the update function and the console. And I will just explain it just after we head back to Unity. So let's go back to Unity. Uh, press uh, Control S and let hit play. And as you see, false is showing when we, I don't press A. And as soon as press A, true is turning. Uh, is true is showing so basically um, this two code this one and this one are basically the same this one is more shorter and more elegant so how this thing works so basically here you got the first part of your input this called the condition so here this is a condition you want to put as the same as the if here so this is a condition condition oops con uh, addition and here and, and after it's um, yeah, it's uh, if the condition is true so if it's true it's true uh, we're doing the first thing we doing the first thing if it's not if it's not if it's not we're doing the other thing so this is a very easy way uh, so i uh, just put this like that all right an easy way to to do a big thing like that so basically you got the condition if it's the condition is true you just return this if it's not you just return false so um, basically guys this is a very easy way to use ternary and this is very elegant way and the ternary um the ternary term uh, of if, if is 
it's very it's very nice and very clean to to use sometimes i'm i'm using it but when you need to do some you know some little if statement like this is very it's it's more efficient to to use this i mean not um in terms of performance but just for for cleaning and to have a more clean code but uh, s uh, let me show you something interesting with uh, ternary code and you can't do with um a classic if statement so let's say uh, i want to put a serial as field uh, let's say a private uh, game object so game object let's call it uh, my prefab and uh, uh, let's call the other one private uh, game object uh, my spawn spawn all right and uh, what I want to do here I just want to say okay let's put in parameter this game object and let's say my game object and what I want to do is just uh, debug.log so debug uh, dot log uh, my game object dot name very easy and here uh, on the ternary so I don't need the debug anymore and um, what I'm gonna do here the ternary need to have a game object in parameter but I can say okay let's put my spawn all right but uh, if I do that so let's head back to unity uh, all right, so let's head back to Unity. All right, if I hit play, if I hit play, as you can see, an error is showing. And this is how you can use a ternary function. So um, what I'm gonna do here, I, I will say, uh, instead of put my spawn, what I can do, I say, if my spawn, equal, um, if my spawn is true, so just return my spawn if it's not what i'm gonna do i say my spawn will be equal to instantiate my prefab so basically you just put a if statement inside a function and is check if my spawn is new it's null or not so um when you do that you just need to head back to unity and don't forget to drag and drop your 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 prefab here so let's uh, select a easy prefab so let's put a red cube there it is and clear the console and as soon as i will hit play as you can see my cube is spawning and a nice way to spawn a cube right and as you can see only one cube is spawning because on the if statement i say if my spawn is uh, is 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 already uh, is already equal to an a game object so just uh, attribute this game object to my spawn instead instantiate my prefab what i can do too uh, what i can do uh, instead of of putting uh, that way it will be more efficient to say if my spawn um, does not exist it will be equal to instantiate else just put my spawn that way i think it's more efficient and more it's kind of elegant i, I like to to use this kind of stuff so let's go back to unity and hit play and you will see the result will be the same So let's hit play. And as you can see, the cube is still spawning. But there, this is a this is one way to use um, the ternary uh, the ternary statement because you can't you can't put uh, an if statement inside uh, a function. So that's it, guys. So hope you guys enjoy the video and enjoy the content. If you if you like, just thumb up. It will be very nice. Comment below the video. If you don't like it, dislike. But uh, help me to improve again. Uh, again, sorry for my for my misspelling of word. Again, it's not my native language. I try to improve my video and um, hope you guys enjoyed the content. And I catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.